Hey, Tactical Painter back out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop. What is up, YouTubers? So, gonna be a quick video today. It's entirely too hot out here for stay out here for too long. Um, you know, we don't get a whole lot of high temps here in Oregon, but we do get plenty of humidity that makes it quite uncomfortable for polar bears like me. So, got the AC going on out here in the shop, which just kind of keeps it moderately comfortable, but not entirely comfortable. So, um, just figured I'd come out here, show you guys a couple of things we got going in the shop. Over here on the lathe, I've got a piece of curly koa that I've got a pen order going for. Got it chucked up here on the Rikon lathe. About to get it turned up for a customer and hopefully shipped out tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. So long as I don't have any grenades. Actually, here's a grenade right over here. I keep that in the shop for good luck. Great story behind it. Maybe I'll tell it someday. I might actually already have. Not sure. I've got a bunch of river table blanks I gotta cut up today. I got these ones all cast up over the last few days and uh, we've got some green and blue shifts over here and then we've got a bunch of violet blue shifts on here and then this bottom one this bottom one actually was a failure the uh, resin got too hot too quick and uh, didn't quite seep all the way down and through and so I don't know if you can see that there so here was actually the bottom of that blank you can see you've got like a section of color here section of color here, section of color here, and the center section, that's actually a second pour. So originally it was oriented like this. I poured down into the river, it seeped down and through, but at the bottom, I actually was left with uh, the, a void right here because the resin went into taffy mode a lot faster than usual because, well, it's warm outside, and so it uh, didn't quite get all the way through, and I was left with two sections, two small channels, really, is all that they were, just two small channels inside the river that I just had to go take it, flip it over, and then pour regular resin down in and through and make a custom mold for it rather than, um, you know, cut it down to seven-eighths and everything. Um, because of the height, I would have had to have cut the whole block up, and I was like, you know what, forget that threw together a uh, corrugated plastic mold really quick and just cast that up and through, filled those in. So that one's gonna be going into my cast off bin because it's not quite a perfect blank. There are some small bubbles in it that'll probably go away when you drill through, uh, but you know it's not perfect. So I'm not gonna sell it as a standard blank. So that's gonna go into my cast off bin. So might look forward to that. Also, last night I got these beauties up on my Etsy page. These are what my wife dubbed the patriotic uh, lava lamp blanks. So they're American patriotic lava lamp blanks. They've got red, white, and blue in pearl, all cutting through there. Really super neat. These are, if you watch um, Zach Higgins' channel, he does the graffiti blanks, where he just takes like 10 colors and just does them cast over clear. And I did that with red, white, and blue because, well, I'm an American patriot, and these are the colors that I love to see. They're gorgeous colors, they go really well together, but you can see here, those sections of dark areas, those are actually clear, and so you've got these colors that are poured onto the top, and they run down through, they drip down, and kind of like a lava lamp, you know, they, the blobs rise up, and then they fall down, it does the same thing in here, so you've got it all just falling down through, they hit the bottom, and then they rise back up in the middle, and so you can kind of see all those areas where they're falling and rising and they're really super neat a lot of fun you will have to paint your tubes with these oh that's a cool side too you will have to paint your tubes because of the fact that they are clear but you will get all sorts of really cool color ribbons and wisps and things going through and you can paint your tubes whatever color you want um, just know that if you paint them a color instead of black or white the red and blue may change color because areas of it may be thin, so it actually may come through, like if you paint it red, the red will come through red. Uh, it might not be see-through, you'll just see the pearl that I mixed into the red, um, and then the blue might come through purple. So I haven't done a whole lot of testing with painting the tubes with these, but if you paint them black or white, your colors will show through fully. So those are available online. I threw them up for 10 bucks and like I promised the last Shop Talk Tuesday, I have a sale running through August. It's my birthday month. So for my birthday, I'm giving you guys a discount. So come on by, check it out. And I've got, uh, it's like happy birthday 2020 or something like that. Um, and you guys can get a discount on all pen blanks and pre-made pens. 
The reason why I'm doing pen blanks and pre-made pens, my wife just got out of ankle surgery. And so because of that, I'm trying to limit my shop time. Right now, I've got my kids laying down. My wife is asleep. And so I've got a little bit of shop time, which is why I'm talking so quick. And so I'm going to get some stuff done real quick. And so I've got limited shop time to do pens on the lathe. But I can get out to my garage and I can cast plenty of stuff up. And then pre-made pens, of course, are already made. I throw them in an envelope and I ship them to you. So those are on sale as well. So if you want to get something cast up, come on by the shop because I've got my sale running currently until the end of August. Now, I said I was on a short time limit, and so you'll see that this video is ending right around the 6 minute 30 mark because I've got to get some work done before anybody starts waking up inside. So thanks so much for joining me out in the shop. This is Tactical Painter, probably on the fastest video I've ever done, signing out. Thanks so much, and happy turning.